So today, uh, like the title says, uh, learn, I'm going to show you how to, me and Mary are going to show you how to paint a sunflower in a very easy way. And so, and um, we're each going to, can show you, you can follow along or watch us step by step. And this is it. We are painting sunflowers for springtime, but also in honor of the, um, the Ukraine and to the 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 brave people of the Ukraine who are struggling so much for their lives right now and we I do have linked down in the description box uh, two ways that you can donate I'm not going to deal with the money it's just like we just can I just in case you haven't found any place I mean didn't know about different there's like in case you didn't know about different places like there's UNICEF so I have the UNICEF link down below and also there's a Ukraine link that apparently that now that link will just lead you to a whole bunch of different Ukraine like it was put together by Ukrainians themselves so you can just explore those on your own and so and so of Today's a special day. We're streaming. We're simultaneously streaming out to Mary's channel, same time as mine. I just figured we just figured this out how to do this yesterday. So we're streaming on Mary's channel. So welcome to people who are watching on Mary's channel. That's Pittsburgh Artist Studio, and also streaming to my Facebook group, which is the which is the Art of Soul, a creative journey, and stream elements will will be dropping that link to. We I encourage you to join my Facebook group on um, stream elements will be dropping that link periodically or just go ahead down in the description box and you can see the link for my facebook group so hello mary oh oh she's backstage i'm sorry she got popped out and i have to bring her back oh hi mary hey can you hear me yes i can okay okay there we go. There we go. Yeah. Oh, I got I got yeah. popped out of there. That was my mistake. I hit the uh, wrong uh tab on my computer. Okay. Yes. <laughs> that knocked me right out of there. 
And hello, Lucky Burrito. So nice to see you. I met you last night on Matt's stream, all things YouTube stream. So nice to see you here today. And hello, our old friend, Passion for Art, who comes to yes. our live streams often. Yes. Please and share I this have, out and thumbs it up. Yes. And I have on my side here, impressive. It's uh, Grayscale and Justin Melo. Milo. My oh, awesome! Yeah, so I mean, it it does work. It's it's working. So this is uh this is pretty cool, Diana. Yeah, this is really cool. That, that helps out Mary's channel. So it's not just always me streaming on my channel. That yeah. So yeah. So um, we've got and then we've got all the people saying hello. Oh, Madonna's here. Um. That's on your channel. Yes. Hi, Madonna. Nice to see you. Lucky Burrito, which is nice. Because he just came on yesterday, you said, last night. was. Um... Oh, it, I have a question. Is Lucky Burrito a man or a woman? I think from the avatar, it looks like a woman. But can we confirm that? Lucky Burrito, are you a lady or a guy? Okay. So, Mary, is that, that sunflower that you have on the black paper, did you paint that? Uh, no, I got this from uh, Pexels or Pixels, and this is, um, I actually wrote down her name, but I am never going to be able to say this. Her That's name fine. is Katarzyna mm -hmm. Matuszka, and she did, and I wanted to give her credit for this because mm -hmm. I'm using her um, picture today for the sunflower. I had a couple that I had picked. I, I had picked this one. Uh, it has the bees on it. So there might be a chance that I put a bee in here or something. Uh, this was from Chow. Um, uh, so uh, I just wanted to, you know, uh, tell you who these people were. But, yeah, I like kind of the bees, but I just didn't like this being so huge. Mm hmm so when it printed out so does pexels require you to give attribution like that do, that, do they require you to give the artist no, the they just, they, yeah they ask you to do uh, they ask yeah you. Uh, you know what it's uh, i feel it's always good to do that uh -huh. because, you know they took the picture uh you you can use pixels I, I don't know how you say that it's, it's pexels P i'm pretty sure it is it's p-e-x-e-l-s yeah so um I'm I'm thinking, uh, yes, that it just is nice. Now, in the past, I haven't done that because the yes. usual, I'll find a picture and I forget to write the name down on the back. But from now on, I am going to start writing it down because I think it's just uh. a nice thing to do. So I get all my copyright free, royalty free images from pixabay.com. And um, yes, they don't require attribution, but and you and you can use it most of the images are um free to use for commercial use as well they don't require you to give credit to the photographer or artist but um yeah so most of the time i don't but i guess that's a nice idea to do that yeah i think on even on splash you know you don't have to but i just i think it's i just think it's nice and uh grayscale i don't think he's coming on your um stream there but he said hello madonna Hi, Madonna. Hi, yeah, great girl. Yeah, the thing about this is that, unfortunately, it doesn't um, do the chat together. I yeah. Don't it, mm -hmm. I don't yeah, know. You have to watch on your channel, and I watch on mine, and and then it splits the views, but that's, well, I guess that's a, whatever. I guess that's okay. Now, on StreamYard, if you look at it, it's all there from both sides. Oh, spots. it is? Yes. Let not, me check, but not Facebook. Facebook isn't there, I don't think. Oh, really? No, it isn't. I remember. I remember it isn't. So I have to check. I have to check separately to my Facebook group, which is the art of the art of soul, a creative journey. And let me go check over there right now. Yeah, I don't know if there's a way to uh, blend that together because you know that's that was our purpose. But oh, Madonna said hi, Anthony. <laughs> <laughs> okay but it's it's still a neat idea you know it's still a neat idea yeah it helps it helps your channel out a little bit yeah yeah yeah
Mm. Yeah, so. How will you get started on your flower? Do you have tips? Well, oh, yeah, I guess I should start. start huh? I was going to, okay, this is, I'm going to trace this because I figured it's a lot easier today to trace this just to save time because we only have a few hours for this. Um, so I'm just going to trace it with, uh, now I use one of these, uh, I, I don't know what, it's a tool, a little tool, a tracing tool. Um, and I have black car, uh, not carbon paper, but graphite paper. No, oh, I have that. Mm -hmm. So, um, and I have a lot of it because when I used to teach, uh, painting, acrylic painting, I would have them trace the things because most of the right. time they couldn't draw, you know. Oh, no. Okay, so you're going to start off by tracing on white paper. It, your image is on black paper, but that's just your yeah. that's just your reference photo, and you will be painting on white canvas. Yes, this is. And like we are giving these away today. Yes, as the title says, uh, there's going to be two lucky winners. They have to be here either most of the time or most of the time, and also be here near the end. So because we'll do yes. the giveaway at the end, and. Two lucky winners that the Wheel of Names, which is also called the Wheel of Doom, is going to pick randomly pick the two lucky winners that will get Mary's original sunflower painting and get also get my 9 by 12 original sunflower painting. Yeah, this will probably be a, an 8.5 by 11 when I cut it down a little bit. And uh, Grace Gale said, hi, Jessica. People are saying, they're saying hi to each other and, and nobody can see it. Like they're saying each, hello to each other. We have to d relay the messages that they're saying hello to each other. Yeah, I have to uh, get that. Well, I tried to get that thing that, oh, um, uh, what, what was it? Vermont Paint said. Oh, that speech app. chat. You're talking about speech chat? Yeah, the speech chat. I, not working. Well, I tried, I did a test on listed live stream last night trying to use speech chat and of course, I in my mind, I'm only typing it in myself. Hello in the chat, and it, it didn't work. But I mean, maybe that's why it didn't work because it's just me typing in the chat. But I I didn't too much. We had too much other things to do, so I wasn't going to try it today. Yeah, yeah, it's been busy these last. Well, yesterday I felt like crap. <laughs> I don't know why. I just was. Uh, it was a bad day for me. It was a bad day for me. Oh, you having a better day today? Today it's not as bad. Yeah, I decided yesterday to get a new uh drafting chair for my art room because this one that i'm sitting on is like sitting on a brick so um uh, i decided to um spend some money and get a an ergonomic chair ah that's a good idea yeah so what, does that mean you have to sit on your knees like that kind of thing Oh, no, I don't sit on my knees here. I do have a chair, but it's just not very uh, cushiony. And it's just sitting like sitting on a board. I've tried putting pillows on it and it just, I can't get it to make me feel good, you know. And if I'm on it for a very long period of time, like we were the other day, um, it just really, it, it affected me. And I think that happened yesterday with that, you know. Wow. Yeah, plus weather. I mean, now today we're a little overcast, but we're not raining. Oh, excuse me, raining or anything. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay, I'm not gonna trace, and I will show you. I have to go get water. Okay, so I'll get paint water. I'll be back. Okay, yeah, I'm just making this easy on myself. And it's not like a terrible thing when an artist traces. Uh, like some people will say, you know, that's cheating. There's many artists that do this. So I don't feel bad about it. I just, uh, I do what I have to do. Make my art work. It'll still be beautiful. And I can't wait to see who wins. Uh, I'm excited to show people a, a really easy way to paint a sunflower. And it's, and but it'll still look, 
it still looks very nice even though it's easy so and i'm not tracing ahead of time and it has to do with how you use the the paint brush so does anybody have any questions about painting paint, painting sunflowers or painting in general or art questions anybody in the chat we welcome your questions right so this is my easy way of doing it okay. um, tracing so i mean i probably will get more intense as i go on here because that's the way I am. <laughs> oh, yeah. Right. <laughs> uh, now, I've painted sunflowers before. Um, when I uh, was teaching through Grumblocker, mm -hmm. uh, they had like a little uh, painting with sunflowers. And people like that. You know, people like sunflowers. Yeah. And, this is, and this is just like kind of... Uh, idea with ukraine uh i don't right. know if you said that before yes i did mm -hmm. okay. yeah but you could say it again oh yeah we just wanted to bring awareness i mean like i'm sure everyone has awareness but i know so it's so much in the social media that's yeah. why i put a different spin on it uh, yesterday i made the last minute change of putting in, instead of calling them the art for freedom i call it the easiest way to paint sunflowers yeah because already it's just saturated in the media about this so right and are, uh -huh. and it doesn't look like things are going to get much better i mean it just it's pathetic oh. there but um oops i was going to use clear gesso what do you think about painting well what kind of problems might i have painting Oh, my colors are going to sink into the paper, aren't they? I need, I do need gesso now that I remember. Yeah, well, clear gesso kind of almost gives you some texture. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to put clear gesso on because I can remember it around Halloween. I painted a scarecrow painting on black paper and it turned out really nice, but I couldn't believe how many layers and layers and layers because the paint, the colors kept sinking into the black. I know, I know. So, okay, I need to put clear. I just, I have it right out here and I just have, all of a sudden all of a sudden had forgotten yeah it it does it, you, i like the clear gesso if i'm using pastels um and you need to have like a little bit more uh excitement with that <laughs> well see i'm using black paper so of course i don't want white gesso so it's either right. use black gesso or use um use black gesso or use clear because i don't want to make it white right right And, and I like I think, to put on my gesso with a palette knife because then, because the palette knife will create ridges. Oh, then yeah. I, with a soft brush, then I just, I, I softly brush over, softly brush over it. Hey, that looks pretty good. Um, and I think Jessica said hi to Anthony. Yeah, she did. I saw that in the chat. Yeah. This is on, oh, on Facebook, ahead. I recently saw um, Madonna is a very good artist. Madonna did a super realistic painting of a sea turtle. Oh, I think I saw that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that was pr really pretty. How about Lucky Burita? Do you do any arts or crafts? If you're still here, I hope you're still here. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna put background stream streamyard background music on. I forgot. Okay. Oh yeah, background music. Now I'm gonna probably go over this a little bit so I can see it better with some pencil. Um, I can't see it. Uh, I'm gonna use a charcoal pencil. Right. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, put a tint on here. Okay. A tint for your background? Yeah. Yeah. Just to uh, give it a little bit of oomph. I don't like this on. 
Oh, right, we could give it. Okay. Oh, here's a task I want to do. Okay, normally you can check the box for looping, but what if I don't check the box for looping? Will it be, will it only play that one song, or will it go through the whole list of seven? So now I'm going to do a task. So we're going to start with this song, and let's see if it goes through the whole playlist of seven if I don't loop it. Oh, yeah, I'd, that, I'd, I would imagine you'd have to loop, huh? I would think. Yeah, normally if you want a song to play over over, you loop it. But see, what ha let, but let's what happens if I don't loop it? Is it just going to play that one song and end it, or will it play the whole playlist of seven? Uh, That's unknown. I have to do that. We there's no way to tell that ahead of time. So I'm just it's an experiment. <sighs> well, our. Our eagles here in uh, Pittsburgh, we have two that are very close to where I live. And, uh, oh, yes, that's yes, nice. Yeah, yesterday the one hatched an egg, a little cute little thing. And then last night, or this morning early, another one hatched. So they're usually eagles have their nests up high. You're, you're able to high. see inside their nest. Well, they have pics cam, which is like you can actually ah. see them and watch them. Right. And it's real cool. I mean, we've been watching these for years now, you know, since they... See, our rivers used to be dirty with all the uh, steel mills and things like that, you know. Right. So, with all that changing, um, they have become more uh, prominent in the area. So this this time she had three eggs. Last year she Ooh. had three eggs. I know. <laughs> it's the same the eagle. Uh huh. Yeah. Ah, uh, because they they come back to their same nest. Is that right? Yeah. Same. I mean, they are. They have one spouse. That's it for their life. Oh. Yeah. They they mate uh, the same one all the time. And you should see, it's so cute when they're putting that nest together because they're funny. Um, the really? male, he's like real picky about the way the nest looks. Really? Yeah. <laughs> and he, he'll, he'll bring these sticks in. And if you would see him putting these sticks together in that nest, it, it's hilarious. I mean, he'll, she'll be sitting there. He'll hit her in the head with the stick. <laughs> I mean, they're just, they're just. Why? Funny. You mean on per? You think it's on purpose? No, no, he's just that way. That's just. What he, is. <laughs> he, he he doesn't realize that he's doing it. You know, it's just uh, he's funny. Yeah, he's just a funny uh, one. And he it's it, he does the nest building more than she does. Well, she's he she will do some of it, but he's more into it than her. You know, he, oh, yeah, that's he, so cute. Yeah, he's, he's, it's his baby boy, I'll tell you. And he's a real <laughs> good, he's really good with being a father, too. He's a very good, um, he'll go out and get the food and bring it in and help, help her feed the little babies and everything. Wow. Yeah, he's, it's amazing to watch. It really is. I can't see what I have here. Mary loves painting animals. If you didn't know that, she has some wonderful. She has them for sale on. You have them for sale on your Etsy shop, right? Um, I don't know. I don't. <laughs> I, uh, you know what? I've got lax on that. I have to really start taking some pictures, um, and and put them out there. Um, you do have stuff for sale, don't you? Do you still have there your Etsy? Things, you yeah. closed down but temporarily or something? Yeah, I just haven't posted anything for a while. There is some stuff in there, but um, the only thing I have in there that's really, I think, nice is if you like Stranger Things, I did something with that. That one, that portrait is good. That yeah, people, I think people that. like that. What, what was that, a TV series? Yes, uh, it, I think it's, it was on, it's on Netflix. It was good. It was a good uh, program. Oh, you, that's why you painted it? Because you like it? You're a fan? Yeah, I liked it. And that was when it was coming back on for something. You know, like one of the times that it was coming on. 
So. All right. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use like a bra, bra sienna, I think, and make a background one. I'm frozen. Darn. You froze. I'm, I'm watching myself on YouTube. Okay, now I unfroze. Okay, well, my hand was just there. Sometimes you, uh, sometimes that'll happen. I don't have uh, any talking going on. How about you? Oh, yeah. Uh, I'm catching up with chat. Let's see. I, get it. I was waiting to see if Lucky Burrito had answered my question. Yeah, nothing there. Nothing. Ooh. Okay. So what this is is just a wash put on here. So I Yes, yours looks right. It looks your drawing looks very nice right now. Oh, thank you. Yeah, that helps to actually, I think, um, trace it and get it together. Right. Now, so, oh, I'm go ahead. I don't. No, I I watched the technique and I think and I I I, I like that gave me an idea that I that you're gonna see like with the I'm gonna start that in just a minute. I just had to make this the center of the sunflower. That all you need is just the technique of the brush stroke and you just can make row layers and layers of petals ah. so you need your pointy round you do have to have a pointy round and i'll start that in just a moment i'm kind of waiting for the the black the purple to set up a little bit and squeeze out some of my yellow and i'm putting a little bit of water on my uh canvas as well just to be able to get this on this will kind of be warm. It'll warm up the painting a little bit. Oh, um, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Actually, this could be a lot bigger than I expected it to be. And I had not done this ahead of time. Um, so, well, Ooh. I'm actually practicing my brush strokes right now off camera on my palette. So let's see how that goes. You have to have the paint in the right consistency. It shouldn't be too, it can't be too thick. And you don't want it too thin either, so. Yeah, and that this is not doing such a great job like I expected it because it's getting, it's oh, uh, getting that charcoal out of my drawing. Yeah, so, you need to fix that. Yeah, I think probably, yeah, probably a fixative would have helped. Yeah, you need to fix it. You got to be careful with that char charcoal. is just going to muddy up your paint. Yeah. Well, so uh, I'm ready to start this. So I, I'm using a pointy round and I, you don't want your paint too watery or too thick. Cause if it's thick, it's going to drag. And I start with a point. So it's, these are all going to, it's going to be pointy at one end. The brush stroke goes like this. It, it starts off pointy. Then you press down harder and then you lift up. So it's pointy on the other end too. And, okay. So again, you start off just touching it and, then press down and then lift up and make it pointy on the other end. And you're just going to keep going around like that and make layers and layers of petals and it builds up and looks nice. So I'm getting some of that charcoal up. I'm just probably not going to do that because I don't want to mess up my picture. You're not going to do what? I'm gonna like not do the background like I wanted to do. I should have done that first. I'm not thinking. That's okay. We'll fix it up. <laughs> yeah, that happens all the time. Art art does not go like in a smooth line most of the time from beginning to end. You always have to well you, that's where you use your creativity. Exactly. To, to okay. like get a to figure out figure things out, figure out how to do things and also like if mistakes happen, how are you going to fix it? Exactly. Now, this uh, background will be nice and dark because I'm using this. It's a green black by At Atelier. And I love uh, it. It's nice and dark. 
and when I put my light greens and yellows in, it'll really pop everything out. And it will definitely get rid of some of that awful mess that I made. <laughs> and mine is it's going to, the yellow, yellow is a transparent color. So that's why, unless you mix it with white, it's a transparent color. So on its own, it's a transparent color. So you can see it's very transparent and letting the black through. But that's why I'm going to do layers and layers and layers of just keep going around. Now, you see, I just did layer one, layer one of all the petals. And the yellow will be building, will build the yellow up. Because right now that's way too transparent, letting the black show through. So if anybody on the replay, I would be... I hope it might be useful to you and I might make it I might make this live stream maybe into a shorter video oh yeah possibly I might make it into a short oh yeah that's what I do with some of my live streams and also my videos or live streams I make them into shorts uh-huh I wonder now if this will um you know go into my uh as a stream you know, like on my channel. Oh, yeah. Or if it, it should. Look, it's there right now. I guess, I don't know. Like, Yeah, if it's going to, um, we'll see. Yeah, because it's, I don't know why it, 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 like, yeah. So who knows? We don't know. This is the first time we're multi-streaming to each other's, to her channel. Yeah, we're just testing it out. Both channels at the same time. Yeah, if you can't share it out. And Grumpy uh, is sitting here real nice. Um, yesterday, <laughs> I was trying to figure out how I could use my other camera. Um, my other camera without you having the echo, you know? Yeah, you were trying to figure that out. Well, I, I had asked. I had asked. Anthony, because he's he's an expert of all at all this. Yeah, and he said, you need to use earbuds. Uh, earbuds, uh -huh. right? And uh, I said, well, I said I don't have earbuds right now because Grumpy ate them. <laughs> oh God! <laughs> he ate both of my earbuds. Oh jeez! Oh, yeah, so you got to yeah. keep them out of his reach. Yeah, well, that that was the first like couple weeks that I had them, you know, and I wasn't thinking about it, and you know, I went in and then I saw them all ruined and eaten, like torn apart. <laughs> so now he's better. He's not as. Uh, I think it was just that he he was testing me, I guess. He's a good oh, boy. We have now. two people that are leaving. Sorry, so Passion oh. for Art has to go and eat lunch, and Madonna has to go pick up her mother from the hospital. I hope your mother's going to oh, be Oh, I hope so, yeah. Oh, I hope she's going to be doing good. Yeah, we don't want to hear that, that anything's wrong. So that, that those, now we only have two people watching. Oh. Oh. That's me and someone else. And then I guess you have two or three people watching on, on yours. Yeah, it looks like I have three, but that's one, one of them is probably me. Yeah, one of them is me on mine. So nobody wants to win a picture. Maybe they don't like sunflowers. I don't know. No, it's not they don't like sunflowers. It's like... <laughs> I know, I know. Things happen, you know, you have to do stuff. So I, I'm, all colors come in a warm shade and a cool shade so here you can see the difference between a warm yellow and a cool yellow warm yellow kind of looks like yellow orange and the cool yellow kind of looks like yellow green but it's not but here you can see the difference between a warm yellow and a cool yellow and i was just going to experiment and right now i have already started with the warm yellow i think i need to i want to add i was going to add see it's still this is still going to be transparent i think i'm going to continue with warm yellow but add some white to it to make it more opaque because the, the black is showing through too much so 
Now, how long do you think yours will paint? Because do you think it takes you? It will take because we don't always have to go for two hours. Yeah, uh, it's probably going to take me a while. I'm never a quick. I mean, I I always can finish it up later. All right. You know, I. Yeah, you can finish it later, right? Yeah, like I did with the other one. Um, I'm mixing a little bit of uh, burnt umber in here because just want to get some different colors in here. Um, oh, that's a good idea. Yeah, I I uh, I finished that one up for Cliff. Cliff mode. So now look at that. The white is so strong. Look at this now. Oh, yeah. Wow. See, white is a very strong color. What, titanium white, not zinc white, but titanium white is a very strong white and very strong color and very opaque. So, isn't it, it, yeah, isn't that amazing uh, how it helps that? Um, yeah. Oh, I'm tomorrow. I'm gonna get water mixable oils. I'm wait. I just ordered oh, them. Really? I watched this great live stream tutorial from from Lindsay Wyrick on the Kruger, Kruger Crafters. The five year old live stream I watched. In fact, I was watching the live stream. I watched the whole thing an hour and a quarter minutes. And all of a sudden, because they're they have she had somebody reading questions for her, and she goes okay, and she reads the person's name, and all of a sudden she says, and Gracie Shack has a question and i'm like crazy shack was watching <laughs> i'll be darned <laughs> she asked two she and she, two uh, during the live stream she had asked two different questions and i thought that was so funny but no she is no Lindsay, the frugal crafter is she does everything what she's yeah. a great watercolorist the only oh, thing yeah. she doesn't like doing is acrylic she doesn't really like acrylic that much she feels like she fights with it all the time she loves so she loves oil she loves the water mixable oil she loves watercolor she loves mixed media collage she oh my goodness she does markers like yeah pop, she's she, very good she is she does everything and she knows so much so but she was chock full people kept asking her questions and she was chock full of information about because i i didn't know that much about water mixable oils but i've i've been wanting to try them and i definitely now and i knew which brand to get too because i would have ordered windsor and newton and that's not what she suggested she did not suggest windsor newton so i, oh, I would have really made that mistake yeah, um, when my daughter was taking uh, a class over at Pitt, uh, one of her mm -hmm. classes, that they used the water mixable because it dries quick. It's very no, the, well, no. Lindsay said that the the drying time. It, well, it depends maybe what brand you use, but the drying time is the same. The only difference is she says is the cleanup. It, it, you don't have the toxics. You don't have the toxic solvents. Well, that's did, that's another yeah. thing. So, yeah, but she did, unless unless it depends what brand of maybe you use. She but on on the whole people were asking her that and she said no the the drying time pretty much is the same but wow because yeah whatever mm -hmm. she was using because they had to take it out you know they couldn't leave it there oh, okay uh, so, so i guess it was just the brand they were using yeah something that they had uh were told to get well you oh, get some medium or also you could use fast drying mediums yeah yeah well they had the kits yeah. already together and the kids mm -hmm. you know they buy the kits and everything's already in there but yeah it, it is kind of neat because it's just like painting with oils i mean you, you it's really nice yeah and um so i got so many tips the other tip i got was that so what if you after a week because it like, usually drives after a week so what if after a week you want to go back and ch change stuff well guess what you have to put in some kind of medium in your paint or linseed oil you have to either add linseed oil to the water mixable or add some kind of me medium. I don't want to deal with the linseed oil because then you have to deal with solvents and cleanup uh -huh. with the linseed oil. So I just, I got a water soluble, I got a water mixable oil medium that's specially for that, that has, that's water cleanup, water and soap cleanup. And oh, okay. so that way, yeah, after a week, after you do have a problem after a week and it's dried, that you do have to add something to your, the water mixable paint to continue painting. Oh, okay. Hmm. I would have never known oh. that. I just dropped my thing. The heck. I will just have to fix that. Hmm. 
Yeah, more people should be making comments on your channel. I people should be coming in, but no one's coming in yet. Um, no, no one's coming in yet. How about you? Oh, I well, last time I checked five minutes ago, no, those two people left. So, oh, I have to check again. So, everybody, I'll check chat in a minute. Yeah, she said uh, she has. To, oh, that was when she has to go uh, pick up her mom. That was the last comment. And Passion had to go eat lunch. Yeah. Where does she live? Is she like behind in time? Or like no, Passion for Art lives in North Carolina. Oh, okay. She just has a late lunch. Yeah, I guess. So. Yes, I, I'll be adding leaves later. I can see Mary's already blocked out her whole thing. Yeah, I got it all blocked out now. No, I, I, I might, I that. might get it done. You never know. So I need some light green. I'm going to get a little light green here. Yeah. So anybody who just joined the chat now, um, please share it out and like, and I, cause I see there's some people watching, please share it out and like, oh, you're welcome to make comments in the chat, ask questions or anything about oh, yeah. us, our painting techniques. Cause I, at the beginning, like if people that watch the, if you, I could repeat myself, but I'm the technique I'm using is a special brush stroke with a pointy round and the brush stroke goes like well hold on well anyway i'll just so now i'm going to add less white and see maybe i'm going to add different shades because i'd want this to have different shades of yellow in it so you go with the point you just gently touch down and then you press and it gets wider the pedal gets wider and then you lift up again so it's a point again so that's just the brush stroke that i can that i will that i continue layer after layer this is probably my third or fourth layer now of the pedals and mary's doing her, now she has a different technique yeah i'm just using a um let's see number six flat Oh, okay. But um, I don't know how I'm going to do those uh, petals. That might be similar to what you've done. Uh, let's see what my uh, my brush. I can't tell you what number it is. It's all worn off. Yeah, it's, it's, but you can kind of tell guess when I'm holding it in my hand like this. Don't you just hate that when they get worn? <laughs> yeah, but you know what? Those numbers don't mean much anyway. I, I heard from another painting instructor that. Every company, the numbers are mean something different. Like a number 10 is in one company is not the same thing as a number 10 in a different company. Yeah, that's true. That's true. They do change it. But I guess it just gives you some idea. Because mm -hmm. I, I know all the painting instructors on YouTube, they're always telling you what size brush they're using. Yeah. Yeah. Isn't that when I come out? Okay, this is some blue, and I'm going to add that to my green. If I can get it, oh, I must be empty. Yeah, I'll be gone. There we go. Now, right down here, I don't like how that looks. So I got oh, that somehow that pretty. that looks what? That looks pretty. Thank you. So I'm just going to add some maybe yellow petals on top of this, just in case people think that people don't think that artists are like magicians and that <laughs> well, yeah and all of a sudden they just art just flows out of them perfectly from beginning to end and there's no ever no problems that's not true that's a mess yeah we uh it takes a couple like layers sometimes to get it right you know it's just not that easy mm -hmm. um that's what I always get a charge out of people that like if you're at a, a an exhibit, oh yeah, my kindergarten kid can do that. Did yeah. you ever hear that? I've I heard that. No, especially because with that with abstract art, they're always saying that. 
Yeah. And I'm thinking, well, you ought to try it then, you know, because it's hard. It's just not. As oh, easy. it's hard. Guess what? So I don't have that much experience. Most of my work is like, like a little, like a little bit abstract, but mostly it always has representation in it. Some kind of representation, like figurative abstract, but it's still some kind of representation. I find that easier now. I, mean, I, I don't have now more recently when I don't have much experience with this kind of painting where not they call it non objective abstract non objective abstract means it's just nothing representational in it. it's all colors, shapes patterns textures nothing in it is representational and you uh, and the teacher I'm working with he's an abstract specialist and you you just do something and, and then you show it to him and he's like oh and then over here and here and you visit this and this and this and this and, and this and this and like that there's a lot more to abstract art than people think there is oh yeah there's a lot of thought that goes into some of that i mean it's a you have to make the composition work yeah you can't just throw the paint on there right right exactly Yeah, it's uh, it's not an easy process. This is, uh, but you have to like doing it because otherwise, because it's going to take time. That's the thing. The people that do art, they they love doing it, and so because they got to spend a lot of time doing it. Right, right. Well, that's that's the relaxing part, you know, um, is being able to relax with it, enjoy it. You know, it's just uh, yeah. It's all fun. It should be fun. It shouldn't be stressful. You know, that was one of the things too when I would uh, teach classes. These people would yeah. be so stressed up. And I said, no, no, no. This is supposed to be. Fun. I know, but you, can, I can understand why they do get stressed out. Because like when I try to paint something that I'm gonna put in a show, oh, like yeah. okay, well I, I'm taking it more seriously. So, but last night I was, I have, I haven't been doing much artwork in my art journal last night. I mean, at all. I mean, in the past month or so last night I was playing in my art journal and I was having fun. I was like, I was moving, I was using a pal. I was first did an ink drawing and on top of the ink drawing, I did palette knife painting and then I used stencils and then I used glitter and I was like, oh, wow. and I had fun and it was like, yeah. and I, I, and I, and I felt like, uh, I felt free and it was fun. Yeah, sometimes it just feels nice. Yeah, you're right. You're right. When you don't have to think about it too much and just enjoy and relax. Well, see, that's the thing. Like, you're trying to make art that, like, when I'm in my Zoom art class, I'm trying to make art that works. Mm -hmm. Like, he's he'll say, no, that, he'll say, no, that's not working over in this section because of this, because of this reason. And no, it is, or it is working or it's not working. And then, and then is it, no, it doesn't look finished. No, I don't think it's resolved. I mean, so you're dealing with those things. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's, uh, it can get crazy. Oh, I think I'm going to use a Q-tip for the center. Oh, great idea, yeah. Uh, for color, see, purple complementary of yellow, but purple, you don't usually see purple. I mean, you don't usually see purple. I mean, what do we have? Like, a, a the sunflower is like a is brown center, right? Yeah, brown and uh, orange kind of colors. Um, trying to get my radical work. productions. Strokes. Oh, he says, "Oh my, this is gorgeous." Oh yeah, it does. It looks really. It shows. Oh, up thank you. Well, he's probably about talking about both of ours. Thank you. And his his channel's very interesting. He he's doing very well. I think he has between eight and ten thousand subscribers. Oh really? He interviews homeless people all around oh. the country. Oh my goodness, that's a real challenge, right there. That would yes. break my heart. Oh my goodness. And very and very um like you know enlightening, trying to you know get the message out there, you know to for the population, you know. The homeless population that really don't have a voice you know so he's like yeah. giving them a voice oh yeah that's what his whole channel is about that wow that's really nice oh, what state are you in now do, do you take radical productions what state are you um do you end up like staying do you live in one state or are you traveling around you traveling around I remember you saying I was you, you were saying you wanted to do some art, but you said no, it would be you were I remember you were saying no, it would be hard because you were in your traveling in your car. 
I'll be back. I have to get Q-tips. Okay. So I'm just concentrating right now on what I'm doing. Um, there's kind of like a lot of light in here on certain sections. But yet it's a really dark flower. So I have to um, keep working at that. Getting this nice and dark here. But yet you have to be able to show up that the green is there. I got to move a little bit. Here we go. Yeah, her process is pretty cool how she did that, too. Who, me? Yeah. she. He says that's so pretty and everything. And I, I, I that process. Oh, thank you. What you did was so cool. Yes, it's with the brush stroke. It's all the same brush stroke repeated again and again. I was explaining to people how we do it. You do it with a pointy round and you start by just touching it. So you, you get the point, then you press down and pull it and it gets wider and then you bring it up and it's a point again. So that way it's they're pointy on both ends and wide in the middle. That So I'm just using Mary said she well, she said she might use that technique, too. She's not sure yet. Yeah, it, it might, because it, uh, it is a good technique. Okay, let's see here. There's a dull light green that comes in here. Yes, we're doing a giveaway. I wonder if he answered the question about, so we're, yeah, we're doing a giveaway of these paintings today. Well, yeah. we were tentatively going to, if there's anybody here. Yes. If there's going to be anybody here. Well, you know, we always get people that come in a little later, too. What time is it anyways? Oh, wow. It's already 2.30. Wait a minute. So we started at 1.30, though. Yeah. So <laughs> it goes fast. I, think. I can't believe how fast this goes, you know? Yeah. Oh, Passion's back. Hi, Passion. Welcome back. Hope you enjoyed your lunch. What'd you have for lunch, Passion? I mean, what'd you have for lunch, Jesse? Oh, and Radical Productions, I don't didn't answer the question. Uh, maybe he's gone already. Oh. People don't stay that long, man. That's not what good. I mean, that didn't he say, you know, it doesn't help if people come in and out. It doesn't help the analytics. No. I'm not depending. I don't. My I'm not watching the analytics on my live stream. It's that I now I would be watching them on my video, but I'm not watching them on my live stream because this is long. Like the replay value of a live stream isn't that good anyway because nobody wants to watch something replay long. You know what? People want to watch yeah. shorter videos. Yes, they do. I mean, for the most part, unless they're looking for something instructional and they got it like, you know, like acrylic painting tutorial. OK, you're going to watch it because you're going to. And like, that's why I was trying to make this more of a tutorial. So for, it would have some more replay value. And that's why I put that title and description on it. So maybe yeah. I would have a little bit more replay value, but I'm not depending on it because of the length that it's going to be. Yeah. But I know. So giving people what they want. Hey, guys, what do you want? What do you want to say? Yeah, tell us. Oh, the music stopped. So now I have my answer, my question answered. Uh, if you don't loop it, it's not going to, okay? It doesn't if you don't loop continue. It, it will not, will not continue to the whole playlist. So you can only, you either play one song and it ends, or you play one song and loop it. And if you want to change songs, you can just change songs. That's how it works. Okay. Now, have you been, um watching Olga's uh, things? Have you been doing anything in that? I'm her admin for this new group. Yeah. I saw that she advertised oh, she just for it. it today. About yeah. So I'm, oh oh have I been doing stuff for the our year on course? You mean yeah. No um I I counted and I have done as of last week I had done four out of ten four out of eight of four out of eight of them or four out of nine of them. Yeah, I've only done three three. So some of them I some of them like the one where it's the interior with the. That didn't interest me. I, yeah, me either. So that mm -hmm. one, people did really great job on those. Yeah, they did. 
Well, this so new one too. People are doing a really nice job on this new one too. I mean, it. Oh, they I were, haven't looked. Yeah, so very nice. From last week. That's from last week, right? Yeah. Yeah. So I guess we'll get a new one tomorrow. I'm right. really far behind. I mean, I just loved, and I'm trying to do another painting. I wanted to do another painting with that method. You know that. Um, method. Yeah, I really like it. Which method? The one that I got actually sold the painting. Oh, um, that. Yeah. So you get like you mean the method that it be black and be grayscale, black yeah. and white and gray. Yeah, gray. Now I mean, the technique I, I'm using, I'm using a Q-tip, and I I have a black, I have purple as my background color for the center of the, and now I'm gonna, and now I'm using brown, like you can just use any shade of brown, and make dots with my Q-tip, and it's good, it's nice that the purple's coming through, but I'm gonna, well I, I think I'll add some green, maybe maybe make it greenish brown. Yeah, I'm tapping in my center. I'm gonna tap it all in with brown. And you're tapping it with I'm what tapping kind of brush? it. A flat brush? Yeah. Uh that's still that number six. I probably should use a um I'm always good to use one of these kind with a bristle brush. Let's see how that works. Probably so that it doesn't ruin the bristles. This gets a little texture in there. Oh, she had meatballs. Wow. And pasta. Oh, nice. That is nice. Do you cook? Do you cook, Jesse, at all? Or do you do any cooking? Mary does all the cooking at her house, right? Yeah, yeah. My husband does the cooking here, but I, but he, he only makes simple stuff, and most of the time I only eat frozen diet dinners. Oh, is that right? Oh, wow. Or chicken nuggets. Oh, okay. I most of the time don't even eat what he makes because he just makes very simple things. Like he'll just make burgers, turkey burgers, and because he does keto, I do not do keto, so he'll make just turkey burgers or and nothing not even vegetables or he'll just make regular burgers and then maybe sometimes vegetables but not usually or or he'll make um heat up sausages with sauerkraut i, I usually have that uh -huh. so most of the time I, I might even skip dinner i might even have my slim fast for dinner instead oh no or, wonder you're so thin <laughs> i'm not thin i'm not thin i weigh I you my high end for most of my adult life i weighed 110 i'm only five foot one and I have, and now since menopause, I, I can never get back down to 110. And I mean, no matter what I do, I could never, I mean, I would have to starve myself and exercise a whole bunch to ever get back down. No, anyway, I, I weigh about 10 to 12 pounds more than that now. Aw. Well, so you I, still, you still look good. Cause I'll tell yeah, you what. Yeah. You know, since I gained all that weight, uh, it's frustrating because I can't get one thing to budge. You know, you, if I do starve myself, it doesn't work. You know, they yeah, tell that slows you down your metabolism. That's why. So if you slow down your metabolism because you're like 1200 calories a day or something, you slow down your metabolism. Well, exercise speeds it up. So that's why you should try. To, I mean, try to they, they could they can work hand. I mean, they do work hand in hand of. Because when I was um, in my late 40s, I did I I I did diet down to a hundred pounds. I was a hundred. I I dec I dieted and exercised and stuck to it, and I I got down to a hundred pounds. But that was in my late 40s. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think that's the key too. Like you like you said, you know, you have to keep exercising. Yes. Well, hopefully, I'm hoping that if I get this, I, it's the second doctor. Yeah, that something good will happen, and maybe I'll get to get out there. I did do some weeding the other day, but uh, I I can't do a whole lot. Just so all the procedures that you've had, they they only work temporarily. Yeah, 
and I want something more permanent. I can't I know, right? Like, you so know? you're going, you're going yeah. for a second opinion. Well, that's it. I'm going to this uh, orthopedic doctor. Uh -huh. He specializes in uh, spine and back. Oh, good. Yeah. So um, hopefully we'll come up with some sort of a. When do you see him? Uh, April 12th, I think it is. April 12th. I have to wait a long time. But it'll be worth it if he can. Yeah, you know, it's worth it. Yeah, do something. I'm having a hard time seeing this here. Well, I'm ready to do the stem and leave now. I'll check the chat. Hi, Slee Stacks Rule. So nice to see you. What's Hi, that? L-O-L-E-A? What's that supposed to mean? Oh, like look, it. I'm all jerky. Move. My movements are all jerky on the live stream. Are they? Not yours. No, not yours. Mine's all jerky and it freezes and it's jerky. Oh, wow. Do you think it's because we uh, are simultaneously? I don't know. That... I don't know. Hmm. I know that people in the past few weeks, every time I live stream, people will say something like you're freezing or you're buffering. I'm like, I used to never have these problems. And even like when I live stream by myself a few times with the game stream, like people would say you're frozen now. I'm like, what? Isn't that weird? I don't, I've never had, cause I don't know. I have high speed internet. Well, if you have Comcast, it could be that because they oh, said. I that, forget who we have. Uh, uh, I know. Well, they were supposed to change ours a little bit to make it more high speed. I don't know if they have. You know, if they've changed it or not. Okay. Yeah, you said the area you live in is a problem. Yeah, they don't. What? You know, like you live in a metropolitan area. Well, yeah. The thing is, like, well, it's like a borough. It's a suburb. Um, so, so you live that's that's still considered a metropolitan area. You're yeah. a suburb of a major city. And mm -hmm. Comcast has the domination here in this. Uh, so they and then that means they don't do so good. They might let up on how the qual their quality. Yeah, it's because there's no competition. Have, no competition. So it's very frustrating because the far or internet is out or anything like that, you know, and we're paying like a pretty decent price. Well, it's a too much of a price, really. For lousy. It's lousy, you know, <laughs> lousy, lousy. Uh, she says she, she doesn't, she does not, she cooks very little. Because she's busy, busy painting, and she's still learning. She's still learning to cook. I think she does. Her mom does all the cooking. Oh, okay. Yeah, those were the days. Who's over on your stream? Uh, I don't know if anybody's even here right now. I I know Grayscale was here. I don't know if Justin's still here. Mm -hmm. Um, who's here? There's two people watching, so I don't know who's here. Tell me who's here. <laughs> In the center, do you have any suggestions about, do I need a more, do I need orange in the center? Or yeah, a little I... orange. Uh, orange. That is like sort of like a dark, deep orange, kind of almost like an umber, raw umber kind of thing. Oh, okay. Going I'm around the edges. Know, I've already been using, I, I don't have, I think I am using raw umber, so I'm going to use orange. What have I been using? I've been using raw umber. I've been using raw. So now I'm going to add some orange to it. Okay. Probably should do that little trick. Like I can't, I'm not the, I still don't have, I should probably use some of my glycerin. Let's see if that helps. If no one's here, I don't know if we're going to do, well, I guess, no one it doesn't mean i mean yeah a few people doesn't mean no one so i guess we're 
for the giveaway, I get it. There will be just probably a few people here unless they leave. Yeah. If you're uh, still here, let us know. Oh, hi, John Shelton. John Shelton, I've been meeting. Sorry, I'm behind on checking my, um, returning my visits to people. So I saw that you have visited me and that you did subscribe to me. And so I'm just um, late on doing, I'm trying to get back to catch up today or tomorrow or by the end of this week of getting over to your channel. Thank you for subscribing. Yes, we're making sunflowers in, for honor of the Ukraine. And I have listed down below in case um, you, in case you, would would want to donate directly to the charitable organizations i have links all consolidated in one place there's the unicef link unicef link right down in the description box and also a one one a ukrainian link that will take you to that was created by ukrainians for for um a list of the link will take you to a bunch of um charitable organizations that you could donate to Oh, let me see. Stream balance has not been dropping my stuff. I adjusted my settings. Oh, hi, Fine Arts. I don't know. I don't know who's here on my channel. I have two watching. I know I'm one of them. I don't know who the other might be. Right. Mm -hmm. Here. Next thing I'm doing stem and flowers, and I don't have any special technique for that the way I had some special technique for the petals. I'm not doing straight down though. I'm going to do something off to the side that's going to, right now, everything looks very uniform, but see, that would not really good, like doing a, a petal straight down. But then making variety in the leaves might be okay, but I yeah. think it look, would look better if the um I think it looks better if I make this off to the side, like this and make a curved thing like this. This is hard to do. To try to lighten it up because it has to be a little lighter on the leaves. Oh, you're I'm trying thinking. to make light light green, you mean? Yeah, like a little, you know, lighter so that it's not like just dis disappearing into the um, background here. But your background is white, isn't it? Well, no, I've got it all green. I've got it like a dark green now. Oh, so, so that's, the, that's the problem I had too. Yeah, it's like not showing up. So... Do you have a lot of experience painting flowers? Uh, I don't do too many, no. Um, I've done them, you know, but I used to like really doing them. Uh, but now I'm into those animals because I just want um, people to know that there's these, some of these animals are becoming extinct. Yeah, so, so uh, like Andy Warhol, he did it. That was many years ago. He did a, I have a cow. I had a calendar of, he did it at extinct. Ex, I mean, either they were already extinct or endangered of um, yeah. pop art, pop art endangered animals. Yes. Yes. And there's quite a few still, you know, that are endangered. I mean, there's a lot. I mean, he okay. did that back in the eighties or something. Yeah. So now there's probably much more, there's many more than that now. Yeah, there's a documentary I think on Netflix about him. And you've been and there's a Warhol Museum in Pittsburgh, right? Yeah, that's his hometown. There. Yeah. Now, if if you go to that, it kind of makes you think, well, he he has some strangeness to him, but you can you tell he's strange. Huh? He, I already knew he's strange. Yeah, he's very strange, so 
And there is a, um, actually his grave site is here in Pittsburgh too. So. Huh. I wonder why, because it's like he spent most of his adult life in New York City, I think. Yeah. Well, his family came from here. Right. So his brother is here. And right. um, he's the Oh, he's still that, there? The, a younger brother? Yeah, he's still alive. So that site was because of that, I think. He wanted him here where he... And it. I think his last name was Warhola. It yeah, wasn't Yeah, that's Warhola. right. Yeah. yeah. I guess I do remember some things. <laughs> I have a trouble trouble sometimes remembering things, but I did remember that. Because yeah. it, wait, Pittsburgh, it, Pittsburgh or the Pittsburgh suburbs is your hometown? Yeah, I, I live in the suburbs. I live out. I, it takes me about, if I would drive into Pittsburgh, it takes about 25 minutes if, if traffic isn't too bad. So it, you know, like if you want to go into Pittsburgh, maybe to have dinner or something like that, you know. It's it's relatively close. I mean, is that where you went for your husband's birthday? Uh no, no, that was pretty close to where I live. Yeah, we want to go into town. We have a we have a gift certificate we got for Christmas for uh, Ruth Chris, and that's in town. But when with all the things that have been going on, you know, with the COVID, we were afraid to go in. So uh -huh. I think. Uh, now it's starting to let up a bit. They're actually talking about um, Pitt not having to wear masks anymore and stuff like that. Have, so. you been, have you been in touch with Uncle Dave? No, I haven't. Um, mm. I know that when I was uh, looking for artists um, to interview, mm -hmm. uh, he, did, he did mention that he interviewed with me and it was a nice time. I thought that was nice. I have to. There, I froze again. Gosh. I am so. You're terrible. not. You're fine. You're doing fine. Yeah, my leaves are horrible though. <laughs> I can't. My, mine are still in transition. I don't. I'm not done my leaves. I just added. I have a mid tone and a highlight. I, I. I think I have to make the deep. I have to make a sh shading on my leaves now and stem. Yeah, I'm starting to get there, but it takes a while. Boy, oh boy. Now, yes, everybody, there's an ugly stage in art. And sometimes it can be the ugly stage all the way almost until the end. Sometimes that happens with people, too, with artists. Oh, yeah. I mean, we it's not easy. Like you said, we said it's it can be tough. And if it's not dry. Oh, hi, Vermont Paint. So nice oh, to see hi, you. you. How are you? Oh, hi, Pink Rose. Actually, she said she's been listening, but. Her internet stinks. Oh. oh, well, that sounds like. She lives, well, she lives in rural Tennessee. Oh, okay. Yeah, my brother-in-law lives in uh, Murfreesboro, Tennessee. Oh, Pink Prozac, do you know that? Where, do you know that place? Where Murphy, Mary Murphy. just said? Murf Murfreesboro? Yeah, it's it's kind of close to Nashville, and it's about three and a half hours from Memphis. Yeah, oh, that might be around where she lives. I don't know. I don't know. Is that around near where you live, Pink Rosak? Oh, Vermont, I did not. We had, um, we're trying out a new thing today already, so I didn't try. We're streaming on both of our channels at the same time. We just, I just figured out how to do that yesterday. I didn't know it was even possible. And then I decided, oh, let me ask StreamYard if it's possible. And I couldn't, I was so surprised. They said, no, that's possible. So Mary had to make me, give me the role of manager on her channel. So then, then I could, then I could access it. And then I could, um, and then now we could have her channel as a destination at the same time as mine. And so we're streaming. The, today was the first time we tried that. So I didn't, I wasn't up for trying to see about speech chat either. What happened to me? Oh, that's right. I didn't, didn't click on um, blue. Oh, thank you, Grace Gale. He's uh, watching us on the big screen. Awesome. Okay, let's loop. Yeah, I kind of like that when I can watch... Uh, watch my you like that but then you can't participate in the stream i heard 
you, you can't. No, you. Well, then I get on my uh, iPad or my phone, and I participate that way. Oh, okay. Well, I think I've had enough of these leaves for now. Um, they look terrible. Terrible? Yeah, I don't like the way they look. Let's see here. You have any ideas? Should I add anything in my background? Well, it's on that black background. I don't think you need to. Just, just leave it on the black background, right? Yeah, unless you want to highlight some area or something. You know? Yeah, I don't know. Spatter? Sometimes, I don't know if I was going to that. that would be cool, yeah. Think, oh, maybe gold spatter. Yeah, I saw a lady do one in watercolor where she spattered it. And it was gorgeous. I just like kind of made it, you know. So, Vermont says he wants to try that soon himself. You mean what? You? Yeah, I keep freezing. That's terrible. But anyway, so, but at least my voice doesn't keep freezing, so that's good. Yeah, I that want might be because of the what we're doing. Maybe. You know so wait, um, Vermont, you say you want to try that soon? What you mean, like multi-stream? Where, where you stream with somebody else's where you stream with somebody else's channel together is that what you're saying definitely make this one too too big i'm using such little paint uh, i use a lot of the yellow but i'll be painting in my i'll be using up my art I'll be using up my paint and my art, doing some art journaling, art journal painting after that. Oh, this. yeah. I just, uh, luckily, I have this wet palette, you know, and I, these colors I used the other day when we were painting. Yeah. Uh, that giveaway. So, luckily, it just all worked out for these. Uh, those two. I just don't like how big my, I like the, my, I have the Masterson palette and it's this big, it's this big, and it's like, I couldn't even fit that right here, right now. Well, yes, yeah, sideways I could. I guess I could this way. I guess I could. And I, what, the other thing I like to do is I like, well, only because I like to put on one plate, put my warm colors and the other one, my cool colors. But here, because I'm using so few colors, I do have my warm and cool on the same. I should get well, Either way, I'm not, at least I'm not wasting it because I'm going to be painting my art journal, but I should drag out my wet stay wet palette again yeah i'll tell you what it's so helpful it really is i know i've used it in the past and, yeah. and then what happens is i don't paint then i in the past i wasn't painting on a regular basis and then i and then the paint would dry up in there anyway and i'm like oh my goodness so Aww. but now i'm painting more on a regular basis so it, i guess it could be helpful yeah if you're painting a lot especially you know you don't want to waste it and it it all comes in handy So I'm starting out with the yellow. What are you painting right now? I'm starting out, well, I'm starting to paint the um, leaves Petals? here on the sunflower. And uh, some are darker and everything. Um, it has, I should probably use my raw umber. I'm thinking for underneath here. Or my burnt sienna, I'm sorry. Yeah, raw sienna. So apparently I, I keep, well, well, I don't know what the reason would be. We, we have to see whether next time the same thing would happen. Then you're not freezing, so I don't. Yeah, it's weird. Well, yeah. That's like, yeah, maybe it's the camera that, I don't know. I don't know. What causes Nobody that? knows why they freeze. I, I've heard seen people freezing and like there's no there's not always a reason why. Yeah, it's just goofy like, you know. That's technology. Things happen and you don't know why. Yes. Exactly. Well that's life. There's a lot many things in life. <laughs> many things in life happen and you don't know why. <laughs> life sucks sometimes, doesn't it? It's crazy. <sighs> <laughs> up and down that's right it's like things aren't going to go forever great and they're not going to go forever bad this too shall pass yeah 
the yes. good and the bad she'll pass it and the thing is uh, so yeah well that's just, yesterday i was feeling so horrible you know and i had someone come out to look at our water softener and the thing is just no good anymore they want like three thousand dollars for a new water softener i says forget that so then you just won't have water softener anymore that's right <laughs> uh, so you don't you don't have to have it because you might have hard water or something yeah it, it is hard water but the thing about this water softener is it's still taking out some of the chemicals you know like if you have a uh, chlorine any kind of chlorine in the water it takes that up yeah it's still doing we have water for, you can do water filtration for that we have just a little water filtration thing next to our sink in a kitchen yeah that's all well i looked on um i looked on lowe's they have water softeners for 700 bucks i thought oh, there hey, you go yeah if i want one you know we talked it over no and then like today my tub is leaking the water spigot is leaking and we can't get the stupid screw out it's like you know pulverized in there so we have to call in a, a, um, a uh, plumber. I said, these last couple days have been really something else. <laughs> it's just the way it is, you know. Like you say, life struggles. It's uh, life struggles. Yeah, there's easy times and hard times. That's right. And it's the way life is. It's just the way it is. Well, another thing is, well, I was telling you that yesterday that we, there's a, there uh, with the law of attraction that like, you, there's some validity to the the law of attraction oh that yeah there when, is if you but, focus on negative then uh, then you attract more negativity if you focus on positive you attract more positivity you can you can what, test that out in your own life yeah there's some that, validity to that yes uh i read the secret if you read that book oh uh, i've heard about it yeah i know that yeah i, know, I, know oh, that, um, I heard about the book yeah Okay, so did you put did well, you put some of that into practice or something? Uh, yeah, like you think positive, like you know, like you're gonna succeed at something, and you yeah. keep saying that to yourself that I'm gonna succeed, I'm gonna succeed, and and you would picture it. You also have yeah. to feel it. You have to picture. believe it. You have to you have to like the way it works is that you have to believe as if it already is true, like it right. already is, and. So I, I sometimes in some things I might do that. I don't, I can't be like that all the time in life, but maybe for some things I might. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Anthony Grayscale, he said, hello, Bruce. Hello, Jessica. He's still Hi. here watching us on his big screen. I bet we look great on there. <laughs> we, we not, they don't see us. Our I faces. know they don't see us, but I bet our pictures look great. Yeah. I bet our pictures look great, right? Yeah. Okay, I'm splattering on some gold. The gold should show up good on black, I'll tell you that. Oh, yeah. For sure. And I use that paper towel to... <laughs> okay, that's not, that's not a little bit a lot, but okay. <laughs> Got a little bit more too much or what? Well, I could leave. I don't know. I, I guess it's a... I'm not. Do I think it is more, too much? I, I like it. I like it for the background because I think the black, the flat, the black is a flat color. You all, you know what? You don't you might see my paint. I painted on black paper. You guys see black paper, and I put clear gesso because normally you don't really want to use. That's a big area of black. To, that's not really desirable in your paintings because black is a flat color. You always want to add something to your black, like blue or green or red or something, to just something. Give it give black something because black is a very flat color yes so this gold this gold spatter this is nice that's why yours is yours isn't it looks on the camera like it's black but yours is green black yes isn't it? yes green black and that kind of was the way this picture was you know like a green black I thought that would be pretty nice. And you can't really, and the camera doesn't really pick it up, but in person you'd be able to see it. Yes, yes, you could see it pretty good. 
So the camera's probably not even picking. I don't know how much the camera's. Uh, that gold spatter looks pretty nice. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that looks good. Let's see what it looks like. Oh, thanks, Grayscale. He said that our paintings look great. Thank yes. you, Grayscale. Well, Thank these you. are going to be given away today in a giveaway to lucky winners. The Wheel of Doom is going to pick two lucky winners. I got to get more of my green out. So Bruce says he wants to try to do um, streaming the two channels at the same oh, yeah. time in the future. That's something he wants to try too. Yeah, I'll tell you what, it's kind of fun. I mean, the comments get split up. So the comments, I don't see Diane's comments. That's the only pitfall. Except so if you look directly on StreamYard, right? Then you can see them? Yeah, you can see them there. But, um, you know, if you're just looking like I'm looking on YouTube and I'm just seeing my side. Right. I can't, I can't make uh, any comments or answer anything on StreamYard for some reason. So... Uh, I, I think I did things. make a comment on there, but um, I don't know. Let's see. Oh, God. Let me see. Let me see. I got to Oh, let's see. I could add two leaves up here by room. Two leaves up here. That would look nice in the composition. And then some. I don't know if I need to. I, I know some people would add a little brown right there, like raw sienna, like you're saying, raw sienna. Maybe yeah, raw, raw sienna, sienna right here where it's closer to the center. And I also could add like a little, a little, like a little circle right here of raw sienna. I don't have raw sienna. I'll just do it with orange and brown or something. Oh, yeah. You could mix it like that. the camera about whether you can see the gold better or not because I can see that's not really showing up that good sunflowers are different like mary mine is more uniform looking but mary's i like mary's the way her okay i gotta add some more leaves i like how mary did it too but yeah this is yeah, uh, i like how i like mary's is very artistic looking and well me and my realism kind of thing i think that's what oh uh, yeah she's really good at realism i lean more on the abstracts I, I do love representation i mean i i don't paint that often in pure abstract but I am doing that more right now. I mean, it's recently I am, but I always like some kind of, I always do represent abstract with some representation in it kind of thing. Yeah. I like the way yours pops out though. It looks really cool. It looks really nice. Thank you. What, the colors? The colors popping? Yeah. Your colors are really nice. Oh, thank you. Yeah. So, for the sake of the, con yes, I'm going to add two leaves up here. I, I was just looking at a reference, that, so I wasn't going to add two leaves, but that gave me the idea because of the reference to add two leaves up here. some more orangey brown in the center what's the 
way that you is there there is a special way to store acrylics what's a special way that you, is there a special way you do it but like is there a special well, way you yeah. store acrylics yeah i think you well my acrylics are in tubes um but i think if you have uh wax paper or uh, um not wax paper uh saran wrap kind of thing you can actually uh keep it that way um no you know, no i'm talking about not once it's been squeezed out i'm talking about in the tubes how you store it like how you store it oh yeah i just i have it like in in big bins i just yeah. have it in bins well i That's learned something i learned something that i never knew like that with the frugal crafter was saying she's saying okay these tubes like the studio basics uh -huh. okay so the thing is once it starts getting halfway full and then the way they pop up again air gets in there the way they pop up again air is getting in there and i guess that's bad for your paint but i've never noticed it being bad for my paint yeah she yeah. prefers the kind you know that look like those those things that those she prefers those kind that squeeze out and and then air doesn't go back in it to hold its shape oh yeah i i I've I have never, never had, had a problem, so I don't know. The only one that gives me a problem is uh, Liquitex Basic. They do dry out and they get real glommy. Okay, that's primar that's primarily the brand I use. Yeah. But um, anyway, I haven't noticed a problem, so. Yeah, if you haven't used them, wait a minute, I don't know who's on who's on one here. That's it. The thing, the, the next paints I'm going to try are water mixable, oil, water mixable oils. I'm, I'm expecting to get them tomorrow. I can't wait to yeah. try that. Yeah, that'll be fun. Okay, if you host, if you are the host on StreamYard, you cannot post in general chat, only private chat. Yeah. What? Like, if you're the host, if you are the host on the StreamYard, you cannot post in the general chat, only in the private chat. Huh. Well, I just, I typed in the chat. So you have, I mean, you've been okay I with. Can, I can type in the chat, but maybe they, they mean, they mean, you can't, no, you already did type in the chat. What do you mean I can't, so let me chat, testing, hello. Who, somebody just told you that? I just posted, I just typed in the chat. Great skill. I don't know if that's what he, he might be. He must be talking about something else. I gotta get this. Uh, this is ruining my stuff here. Well, as far as I can, I know I can't. Oh no, I'm a guest on her chat, so I can't. I can't post on her. Hi, James. Guy, guy. Thank you for the thumbs up. If you could share it out too, that'd be great. Oh, 11 thumbs up. Happy dance. Oh, time Come for on. happy dance. Yay. I forgot about Yay. that. Yay. Exactly, you didn't even have 10 thumbs up. Okay, hold on. Awesome. Hi everybody, welcome back. Thank you for the 10 plus thumbs up. Awesome. Oh god, my stream elements is not working. I'm gonna it's I hope the stream elements has good customer service because I'll have to find it. I have to find out what's wrong. It is working for like if I have new subscribers, it tells me I have new subscribers, but it's not posting the my it's not posting my com my chat commands. Like uh not chat command like my yeah. they call them timers like my 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 comments about like announcements about signing up to my newsletter signing up to the facebook group everybody uh, i do have a newsletter and a facebook group and it's linked down below in the description box and you get free things if you sign up for my newsletter and you get you get discounts and free some other free things if you sign up for my newsletter which is oh i don't think i put that down in the description box i put it in my chat commands which stream elements is not dropping 
Oh, but my Facebook group. Yes, there's also my Facebook group. I encourage people to join. These things, which is called the Art of Soul: A Creative Journey. Little glitches everywhere. Okay, let's see here now. Let's get some light. When I'm working on artwork, after a while, just looking at the artwork, I can't get an idea of how it's going. So I look at it, I take a picture and look at it that way, and then I, I can see what's going on better. Oh, that's I can see idea. it in a new way. I just noticed that. So now I just notice it on camera. I'm looking at it through the camera, and I'm saying, oh, that orange in the middle is not showing up as much as I thought it was. And then, of course, the colors, acrylics dry darker. So now when I, when I first put the orange on, it's bright, and then it's just going to get darker. Then I have Holbein, or I mean, fluorescent. I'm gonna try fluorescent orange instead. Oh, that'll be pretty. Fluorescent orange might show up even like pop better. And I, I've learned recently that you don't just use like fluorescent colors. Usually are not um, light fast, and they will fade very quickly. But Holbein, I learned that Holbein is a very good brand of fluorescent colors. Oh, okay. That's interesting. Ooh, that is bright. Ooh. This will definitely show up on camera now and it's <laughs> better for my picture too. Oh, I don't know. Maybe that's too much. We'll see. Ugh. Well, that looks cool though. <sighs> okay, that's going to dry a little darker, so I'll wait. On camera, that is, that does not even look too bright. In person, it does. I'm gonna wait for it to dry. So I'm just tapping in the center here. Yeah. So, one. what's your technique you're using for the center? I'm just uh, push. I'm just tapping it in with my brush. With what color? Fancy. Uh, I just have a round brush, and I'm just tapping this in. What color? Yeah, it's like red. I had I put some uh, raw umber in, or burnt umber, and then um, I'm just kind of lightening it up a little bit now, mm. getting some of that.
like little dots here so I'm just gonna put little dots in with this brush I still have to finish the leaves but I kind of wanted to get this in there Center. Oh, thank you, uh, Jesse. She was. She said a, a few comments ago. Pretty. Thank you. Oh, good. Thank you. Okay. Let's see now. Yeah, I'm happy through the camera. I like how my petals turned out. Yeah, it looks like, nice. Like you were saying they're popping. Yeah, they are. I mean, it really looks nice. Different, look, little different style than yours. I, mean, I, I, I like yours. Oh, I like yours. The uneven, like it, whatever. It's a different, they both, yes. They're, well, I like the way have, you did it. Yeah, we have different ways of doing things. And it it's mm -hmm. kind of neat to see how artists do things differently. Yeah. You know, that's what I like about this because you see different techniques from different different ways of doing it you know that's all pretty neat So, okay, we're closing in on two hours. Oh my goodness! Well, I'm almost finished. I oh, I just have to work on them leaves a little bit. But uh, if you want to, you know, do the. Oh yes. Okay. How many? Oh, we gotta add the people that. Okay, we so people like we have grayscale over on your side. Who else? Uh, I don't know. Um, well, let's see. We have Grayscale. I don't think the um, Justin. Are you still here? There's four people. No, I don't think he's still. He's not still. Well, okay. We're calling out the people. If you're here, let us know. Justin Malo, are you still here? Let us know. Just let us know. Who's ever here in this uh, chat? I know Passion for Art. She was here. Yeah, she's here. She, and then Vermont and then Passion for Art and John Shelton. They were here for a long time. Okay. So I, I'll, I'll put them on the wheel. Okay. So I'm not sure good. about Justin Mail because I, I th Justin Mail, if you're still here, let us know for the giveaway. Yeah, we want to be able to give this away. But we're wait. No, Justin Mail lives in Canada. We're, anyway, we're only doing, we're, we're only going to ship um, U.S. Oh, I think John oh, Shelton okay. is uh, U.K. Oh, John Shelton, are, are you still here? Are you U.K. in U.K.? Because we're, we, we're only going to do U.S. today. Other times, yes, I do it uh, international, but I can't do international every time. So, um, all my names are on here from last last Saturday. He's gone. Oh, really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
ever wrong. Grayscale. Oh god, I don't know. Oh my goodness, we only have those two. Right, because I'm sorry, not? James. No, I'm sorry. We would have had John Shelton, but John John Shelton, are you see we had other people here but they left. Huh. So John Shelton I think is UK. Uh. Oh Cassie Bar I mean Jesse's paying too. So. Oh yeah, Vermont paint. He goes on the left. All these are artists. <laughs> well, they get an original from another artist. That's kind of cool. Yeah, they appreciate. If I can that. fix these leaves, we'll be set. So that's yeah. three people on the wheel. John Shelton, are you still here? Let me check his channel because let me see if. Yes, he's a UK vlogger, right? Okay, I'm, I'm, I don't. I'm, Hold he's on. not. But, yes, he is UK. I, okay, so I, I, okay, I'm willing to put him on the wheel because I last time I didn't have, like on Saturday I didn't ship international, so. Oh, okay. So I, I'm willing to, I'm willing to. Uh, put him on the wheel even though he's okay he's uk i'll put him on the wheel yeah uk is all right even though he's yeah i'm, okay, I'm going to to ship there today Oh, Pink Prozac was listening almost a lot. She couldn't participate in the chat because oh, she had some help. But she got to go to the uh, hospital. Yeah, Pink she Prozac. should be on. John Shelton. Okay, so that's good. We got on. Um, I'm gonna have to check it in the chat again. We have we have like five or six people on the wheel. That's good. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Let me throw up. Let me up. Okay. Maybe we'll use this. Oh, Lucky one. Dorito was here at the beginning. Okay. Yeah, Lucky Burrito. Lucky Burrito maybe is Lucky. Yeah. Oh, Madonna. Yes, yeah, Madonna. That's rule. Just the like people that we all gonna add these people. Okay, Madonna. Please stacks rule. Oh, good.
Gracie over here. Hi, Gracie. All right, we got the name. Oh, now let's share the weevil. Yeah, Grayscale's still here. Don't forget Grayscale. Oh, I know. He's on here. Okay. <laughs> He's on here, yep. Okay. Just about to spin for the giveaway, everybody. Okay. Let's enjoy that. That's going to be fun. Fun, fun. Somebody's going to win. Hope it's all you guys. Oh, have a good one. Lucky, lucky. You feel lucky. Okay, there's the wheel. John Felton and I am going to I will I'm going to today to the UK if, if I but if Mary gets John Shelton then well then I I get that we spin again we spin again well it, you know what I can send yeah. it I mean my biggie the cost, I'll tell you what it costs is it expensive I mean $17 for, for oh, a really? envelope. Wow. Okay. That's a lot, huh? <laughs> wow. Yeah, so maybe, maybe that's why I cannot ship international every time. Yeah, that's a lot. Um, I'm going to I'm still working on my center here. Okay, so. We'll spin for my, my we'll spin for me first. Well, I don't know. We'll spin for Mary first. All right. Mary cannot ship international. Okay, here we go. Do you know who she get? John Shelton. No, sorry, she can't ship international. Who is it? No, I'm sorry. We have to spin again. We have to, cannot spin it. Let's. We're spinning again for Mary because she cannot spin. She cannot ship international. John Shelton, the only one on the whole wheel is international. <laughs> and it lands on four. Right. Lucky burrito, the winner. Lucky burrito, Mary. Lucky with Mary painting. All right. So I just need an address for the burrito guy. I'll have to look. I'll, I'll, have to tell him. I'll have to tell him. I think it's a woman. You know if it's a woman or man? They never answer that question. Oh, see, maybe he's not here. Lucky Burritos, maybe well, not we here. We'll not be able to contact them. We'll say, we'll say. I have a chance. I'm, well, I'm sure he's on. I'm he's just, on uh, YouTube. The channel, I mean, he well, yes, on YouTube. I mean, yeah. what I'm thinking, like, cause, you know, there's people that are just support. No, I, I remember they were talking about their channel last night. Yes, they have an active channel. Yes. Yes. Okay. But some people, if you're a supporter, there's no way to contact them. Like, they have no information on getting a hold of them. An active channel, like, you can leave a comment or in some time, you can at least leave a. Yeah. 
about our email and about section. The next winner wins um, my my painting. I hope it's not like a, never mind. Somebody who's gonna be critical. <laughs> Oh, oh awesome. Don Snowden. Don Snowden. Don Snowden. Lucky. 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 Well, Lucky, if you're still here, I think Diana has my uh, email address below. You can get in touch with yeah, me. Yeah, I don't think Lucky's still me... here. For me? He's no, not I here. think Lucky's still here. Oh, uh, okay. All right. Okay, finally getting there, getting there, getting there. Actually, I don't know if I have no, I guess, a yellow. I guess we're going to stop for today. We can, <laughs> yeah, we're going to we only yeah, have 3.30. But yeah, yeah, this looks pretty nice. Uh, I like it. it. Turned out nice. I just yeah, have to get some yellow nice. dots around here. But I'm almost done with it. So, and I've got some beautiful hands got all the pink on me why does that happen i don't know but when i paint i am messy oh, the invisible glove cream that i've been using yeah I so you that. can wash your hands very easily yeah i have well you know what else is good um this you know this um moisture hand sanitizer what? That oh, helps anyway. remove it. Oh, and okay. a, good, a good tip is if you want to clean your brushes, hand sanitizer yeah. will do a good job. So will baby wipes. I just use soap and water. Yeah, that's usually me too. But I have so much on my hands. So. Yeah, so I just have to finish it up. I got to put little yellow dots in there, but it, it's almost done. So. I think uh, he'll be happy with it. Now I'll sign it when I'm all finished. Okay. Bye, everybody. Bye, everybody. Bye. Congratulations to the winners. Thank you. Thanks so much for being here. Thank you so much. Great. Thank you, for being Thank you. They, they, you. they were here for a long time. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank and you that, so much. A bunch of people were here. Not, Thank you yeah. all these people that were here. Thank you so much. Oh, Cliff, no, you should have you should have let us know before this that you were here because we, you could have won another painting. And anyway, you already won. You could win twice. That's fine, but yeah. Well, it was nice that you were here. Great to and let you. us know. Again. That's oh, awesome. Oh, Lisa rules refuses to leave. Good, thank you. Stick around, stick around. And keep watching videos on my channel. I, I, I would welcome that. <laughs> yeah, that's nice. Thank well, you. Well, Thanks for watching. Here. Thank you, guys. Thank you. So nice to see you again, Cliff. And sweet back. Yes. Yes, thank you. We'll see you next week. Bye. Bye. Bye-bye. Next Tuesday, usually at uh, 1.30 p.m. Eastern. Um.